All right, so uh, I'll open this question up to both of you. So after that team TV timeout in game two, was it kind of a reset for you both? It looks like you came out stronger after that. Yeah, I think uh, it really helped us. We told, we talked to each other and we said, you know, we've been in that situation many times before, down one game or even two games. I, I think at Nationals we were down two games, maybe two games and a half, three out of five. So we can do it. It's only one game. We only lost the first one. It's just reset and just focus on a main strategy and we were able to accomplish that. Uh, Al, I know you kind of say, kind of takes you a second to, to get warmed up. Did you, <laughs> did you feel like that in the first game? Yeah, I did. I felt like, well, I came out and I hit one really good shot, like the first point, and then I was like, oh, I don't usually come out playing this well. I was like, let's go. And then from there on, it was like, no, I think, I don't know what happened, but I just think I came out just too kind of lackadaisical when usually I come out, I'm super nervous. So I think I kind of flipped and wasn't nervous and then got really nervous and then I was fine in the second game. So I think it was just a weird, I just came out and did something unusual. Why do you think you were so nervous? Because usually I get it out in like the first couple points. Usually I'm like, all right, you know, pre-game nerves after first couple points, then they're all gone. Whereas I feel like here I just came out and I kind of underestimated them. And then I was like, oh, shoot, they're playing well and I'm not like kind of prepared type thing. So I'm going to, when I play Catherine, be, come out super nervous in the first couple <laughs> points. No, no. You shouldn't be nervous. <laughs> um, so this is for... This is from um, Maggie Raminzi Chow, and oh. she is a uh, pickleball talk on Twitter. So she asks, we've seen a lot of women in the last several months across various sports being very dominant. Uh, Simone Biles, Coco, Goff, etc. And speaking to how motivating it is to see other women in their sports doing similar things, does seeing their success and hearing their stories motivate you in the same way? Do you want to go first? Sure. For me, yes. Um, I love, you know, seeing rising stars, just like what they, their post-conference interviews or just the way they're playing and just like their mental side of things, documentaries on them. Yeah, for sure. I love watching those. Yeah, me too. It was cool because Coco's from where I'm, where I'm from and where I live. So that was cool to kind of be able to connect with her in a way um, that I couldn't with someone like Simone Biles. But yeah, definitely grew up watching Simone play in the Olympics and it always made me, you know, want to be the best at whatever I did. And uh, Catherine, this is for you. Now that we are close to wrapping up the PPA season, take us through your off-court growth. Was it everything you would have hoped for in 2023? Yes, I mean, finishing off the year playing with Annalie. I can ask for anything better. <laughs> uh, no, I'm really excited. Uh, I feel like I've been, I've had a pretty good year and I hope I can finish even stronger for the rest of the year. Good. Thank you guys. Thank you.